Hello guys, welcome to the video and welcome to Space on Earth, the channel where we don't miss a tweet about the space flight industry. There has been a lot in this past few weeks, so let's dive right in. So a tweet from Michael, SpaceX Crew Dragon Capsule Endeavor got quite cleaned up since splashing down 8 months ago. So if we quite remember, this was the capsule that sent astronaut Bob Benkin and Dark Early to the International Space Station. So as um, it was re-entering its atmosphere, it took a lot of beating. So we can see it toasted like a bread. But since then, SpaceX has worked a lot on it. And just look at that. That is just beautiful. It's it's almost like it has never been used before. Currently, I think I think the the Dragon capsule is by far the most beautiful capsule in operation. Uh, and also from Austin Bernard, SpaceX crews are hard at work following two cryo tests, meaning Raptors could be installed within days. Progress on the orbital pad is in overdrive. So with the launch tower taking ship and the first GSE tank in place, meanwhile BN1 is being scrapped for BN2, which will fly. So we can see Starship SN15 right on it on the test tank. I think it's it received more heat towels when it was on the test tank so we will have to wait and see what happens so we can see the crew very 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 busy working on the orbital launch mount we can see right there and we can see the GSE tank the ground service equipment tanks we can see it also there with all the plumbing and everything will be in place very soon and also the BN1 which is now being scrapped for BN2 which will fly as I said earlier so that's it right there so we can see everything and then Elon went on to say aiming to launch next week so that's it and also from everything SpaceX SN15 test campaign so ambient pressure test correct check cryogenic proof test check trust simulator remove check so Raptor installation static fire and flight almost getting done so that's it right there and from Peter Beck CEO of Rocket Lab so another electron ready for launch Wet dress rehearsal completed today for the new mission after Nest. Team is running multiple concurrent launch campaigns. So we can see the beautiful Electron rocket sitting there going through tests to be ready for flight. That's just beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss any of my videos, guys. I appreciate y'all. So here we, we, we still see the we can see the mission control where everything goes on that's a beautiful setup by rocket lab and Peter Beck amazing job and also from blue origin so NS 15 is targeting lift off Wednesday April 14th from lunch side 1 lunch window opens at 8 a.m. CDT and 13 13 o'clock UTC NS 15 is a verification step prior to flying astronauts. So webcast starts at T minus 60. So we we saw um, Blue Origin had a successful test flight, which was absolutely very, very beautiful. Let's see the video. All right, there go the track brakes. And there you see all the speed leading off of the, off of the vehicle and waiting for our BE3 engine to realign. There it goes. And then a very beautiful soft landing. As oh, always, very, landing. very beautiful. And also here we saw the the capsule as it lowered gently to the surface of the earth. A very nice, beautiful splashdown. Now just look at that retro thrusters. Those are very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful. Patrick, I told you it was going to be worth the wait. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely, I love you. See, you can just see it just as it lands. You see that puff of air and it just kicks up all that. A special thanks to all of you all watching the video. Keep watching, sharing and liking the content. I'll keep posting awesome content. I'll talk to all of you all 
in my next episode